Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Um, you could probably tell I'm excited about this video. Um, been working on basically the same thing for the past like five or six years. I've been trying to get to the point that I'm at right now with something awesome. Now, some of you know what I'm about to tell you, or at least a little bit about it, because I have mentioned it in my Facebook group, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. If you are not a member of that group, and you want to be a part of the things that I have going on, you want to learn more about my products, my processes, and basically share, um, share some of your experiences with my products and that kind of thing, uh, I encourage you to find the group on Facebook, send us a request, we'll get you in there, and please read the pinned post. That group is only about what I've got going on, my processes, and my products. No one else's products are allowed to be mentioned in there, but it is a support system for what I've got going on and for my products, so just keep that in mind. Uh, send us a request as long as you can follow the rules in the pin post. We'd love to have you if you can't follow those rules Thank you for trying and have a wonderful time uh, but unfortunately uh, You got to follow the rules or you'll either Be asked to leave or just removed from the group. That's the bottom line we are a drama-free community there. It's a fantastic place to be. Uh, and you guys know my mission is to improve efficiency and use fewer products and, you know, to save time without compromising quality. And that's what I do. So anyway, without further ado, if you're in the group, you've already heard about what I'm doing, but if you followed me for the past several years, you'll know that I'm huge on low pressure systems. I'm not as big on the traditional wash method as I am with the Gary Dean wash method. And a lot of that has to do with wanting to be more efficient, wanting to be more uh, eco-friendly, wanting to use less water. And it's, it's, sometimes it's a little less about wanting to use less water. And I'm not trying to take anything away from being eco-friendly, but sometimes using less, needing to use less water when you're a detailer is more about efficiency. Uh, and what I mean by that is if you have to transport less water, then you not only get better fuel economy in your vehicle, but it takes up less room, so you need a smaller vehicle than you would if you used, you know, if you if you hauled around a 100 gallon or 200 gallon water tank. And at the same time as being more efficient, you're also being eco-friendly, which is awesome. And so with all the pressure washers I've ever seen on the market and what turned me off the most about the traditional wash is all of the residual water runoff. So basically all that extra water that you don't need to be using, but there was until now, which is crazy to me, until now there was really no effort put into um, trying to find a better solution for a pressure washer per se. They already had pretty, um, you know, efficient unit units. Uh, I've always recommend, well, I used to re recommend Karcher. Uh, I, since then, several years ago, I switched to AR Blue. And uh, let me just tell you that their units are amazing. And because I like the AR Blue 118, which was the old model, and the newer model, the 112S, so much, I have been recommending it for a couple years, and you know, I own one, I've been using it. It's a fantastic piece. I mean, it's a hundred dollar unit, and it works very well. It's small, compact, and it's more of a consumer grade deal. Uh, 
you know, standing up to everyday use uh, as a pro detailer, uh, they don't generally fare that well. You'll get a year or two out of them uh, under professional use. But those specific models, the 112S and then the old AR118, those are consumer level pressure washers designed for low end kind of situations. So with that said, I, with my low pressure systems, I've always been trying to get more pressure because, you know, the pressure will remove heavier dirt off the surface. Uh, the pressure is what removes the dirt. And, you know, a lot of you guys like, uh, you know, snow foam and that kind of thing, you know, and it looks cool and that's good. It gives you the wow factor, but it's really the pressure that is unbonding the contaminants from the surface. So when I was developing my um, low pressure systems, all that would really do was is allow you to not use a trigger sprayer or a small air pump sprayer. Uh, it would allow you to use a battery and an electric pump to spray the lubricant on the surface to pre-soak for the Gary Dean wash method. And that works well. The problem is when you've got sand particles, when you and, and I deal with a lot of stuff around the beaches here in Tampa, uh, or I should say the beaches, you know, over on the coast uh, in the next county over, but Sand is an issue, salt is an issue as far as sticking to the paint, um, you know, other dust, dirt, debris, brake pad stuff. Anyway, the bottom line is if you can use pressure to unbond that stuff from the surface, it's better than not using pressure to unbond that stuff, stuff from the surface. Uh, so if, if you're not using the pressure, then you're using the lubricant. Uh, the infinite use detail juice or whatever it is you're using for your lubricant uh, and you're you're relying on that chemical ability to encapsulate and then you know lift it off the surface before you go wipe it on it now there's always potential to wipe something into the paint creating swirl marks and so people are concerned a lot about uh, the you know whether you're going to get swirl marks for a waterless wash which would basically just be spraying on the lubricant and then wiping it off which i don't ever recommend that that is dangerous on your paint uh, but with the gary dean wash method and never reintroducing the dirt that came, comes off the car uh, back into the wash bucket you're always using fresh wash media every single time even though you're using four sides of your towel uh, per towel, uh, you're still never re you're never reintroducing the dirt that came off back onto the car. Uh, but even with that pre-soak, you're still running the risk of potentially scratching the car. Again, not a big deal. Swirl marks happen. I can't stand whiny babies who complain about swirl marks. Now, with that said, you always want to do what you can to be as gentle on the uh, on the paint as possible. Uh, a pro detailer is looking for a different situation than an enthusiast is. Um, the pro detailer is looking to make the money. Uh, the enthusiast is looking to make his car look look the absolute best. Now, finding a balance is key, and that's where the Gary Dean wash method comes into play. It's a very safe and effective way to wash a car uh, and uh, minimize the amount of swirl marks you're putting into the car. So, with that said, I have been on this mission uh, and I developed, you know, a couple years ago I developed this air injection system where I had a high powered um, air compressor and a siphon feed paint spray gun that basically would use the pressure to remove the surface uh, contaminants. Uh, and then it would also inject lubrication with the infinite use detail juice or whatever you're using onto the surface. So the combo of spraying the lubricant and having 100 to 150 PSI of pressure really did a great job of removing the surface contaminants. Now, air injection is a bad man and it is amazing and it's awesome and it works and it's, you know, really cool. And I, I don't mean to take anything away from that. However, I believe that I have, well, I know that I have a far better solution than that now. So to create an air, air injection system that was really effective required a large capacity holding tank for your compressor. Now, 
that gets bulky. And where I'm at with the water situation is if you can carry less water, you're more efficient. Same thing with the air compressor. If you can carry a smaller compressor, compressor to get the job done, you're being more efficient with space and weight and all of that. Now, the problem with air injection was not only that you needed that larger capacity for your CFM, the constant, uh, the, the flow to be um, good, but we got into uh, having air compressors that were gas powered and then, you know, I had a 100% duty cycle, which means uh, while that motor is running, it's, you're getting full pressure all the time. Again, I invested $1,000 in a compressor uh, and then, you know, you got to get your hoses, you got to get your gun, you got to get your uh, gravity feed tank for your siphon feed line. So all of that adds up. So it got really pricey to have a solid quality high-end air injection situation. But beyond that, you were limited to uh, around 100 PSI, realistic PSI at all times, which really worked to remove the, the contaminants from the paint. But as far as the other problem with air injection is uh, a good quality compressor draws a lot of power, especially on startup. So the small generators that a lot of you guys are using, like the Honda EU2000, wouldn't run a decent compressor. So then you got to upgrade that. And, and it just, it's an issue for a mobile detailer for sure. If you've got a shop where you've got a big compressor set up, it's awesome. You can use air injection. It's fine. However, the reason 11 minutes and 35 seconds now into the video, I can explain to you the reason for the video. I am working directly with AR Blue North America. I am super stoked about this. I have contacted them. I've talked to some high ups there. I've been talking to the engineers. I told them what specs I needed, what I need to do it for. They do not have anything currently that will do what I want it to do. With that said, we are creating it. Because of my influence in the detailing industry and because of my influence with creating my own low pressure systems and having owned pretty much all of the very common pressure washers out there, we're combining my knowledge with my industry, our industry, the detailing community, and their knowledge with uh, pressure washers, pumps and motors specifically. And that's why I'm not gonna call this thing a pressure washer. I'm gonna call it something else, I'm not sure, but it is me that is designing this contraption in conjunction with AR Blue North America. I'm super stoked that one of the best pressure washer manufacturers and I are teaming up to bring you guys a half gallon per minute at 1100 PSI at 8.1 amp draw. Basically, a it's a, a blend of a low pressure system and a pressure washer all together. I mean, think about those specs, guys. The AR112S that I recommend everybody use. That's $100. Now, Keep in mind, we're building this as a commercial unit. It will cost more. I'm not sure what the cost will be, but you can expect it to be around 750 bucks, period. Um, commercial grade parts, commercial grade pump, commercial grade motor. Um, I'm talking high end here. I'm not, you know, I don't bring you guys small time bullshit. I am serious about this, and I want you guys to have years and years of use out of this thing. This is not, we're custom making, they're custom building these things for me. Custom. This is not some cheap plastic store-bought $100 throwaway machine. This is a serious commercial grade machine we're building. And think about it. The 112S is 1.4-ish. So about a one and a half gallon per minute. And about 1500 PSI. Think about that. The difference is amazing. We're going a third of the water output, which is plenty. So the cool part about this is we're gonna be able to do traditional washes and use far less water than ever before. Plenty of pressure, plenty of lubrication without all the extra 
mess without all the extra waste. But at the same time, we're gonna be able to do higher pressure pre-soak or pre-rinses for the Gary Dean wash method. This is amazing. So this unit will allow you to more efficiently use the Gary Dean wash method or a traditional wash. It's up to you. I'm not 100% sure on the adjustability. I know we'll be able to adjust the pressure, um, but I'm pretty sure the pumps are set at the GPM uh, that you know, you're using them for. So at this point, the pumps we're gonna use are a half gallon per minute. So that flow won't change, but I believe we can vary the pressure. So if you don't need that much pressure, it's fine. But think about it, a half of a gallon per minute, that means if you hold that trigger for one minute, all you're gonna get out of that thing is a half a gallon, 64 ounces. That is amazing. I'm super stoked. So like I said, I'm working with AR Blue north america to create this perfect and you know perfect is not a, not a reality the best possible case scenario situation again it's not a low pressure system because it's higher pressure than low but it's not a pressure washer so it's like a blend in between i'm not sure what i'm going to call it yet but i just want you guys to know that i'm always working on bigger and better and you know, part of what I do for the industry is I don't stop thinking. I think outside the box and it's always happening. I wanna find out how I can produce a better end result for my customers. And I wanna share it all with you guys. So come along on this journey with me. I'll be selling them on detailjuice.com, hopefully by spring. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I do not have my own yet. I am working on that currently. We've been doing some R&D. They've been building, swapping parts around, finding better, and you know, I, again, high quality is what I'm going for. Commercial grade machine. Uh, I'm working on getting an all-inclusive kit with the hose that you need, with the spray wand, with the nozzle, you know, the whole system mounted on a plate, hopefully maybe with a handle. I don't know what we're doing exactly, but I can tell you that it will be everything that you need to get going uh, to replace your low pressure system and any pressure washer you've ever bought. And it is going to be the last one that you need. It's amazing. I know that a gallon, a half a gallon per minute is it is at the low side of what you can use for a tra traditional wash, but with the 1100 PSI, it is, it's amazing as far as a traditional wash goes. But at the same time, for just a pre-rinse, even if you want to hose the, the vehicle down with 1100 PSI and use little water, uh, as little water as possible, and then go right into the Gary Dean wash method, this will allow you to do that. Um, this is huge, guys. I don't, I'm telling you, this is a far more forward advance than air, in, air injection was. I love air injection, I think it's amazing. But with a 8.1 amp draw, the small inverter generators are gonna be able to run the system. Uh, you're gonna be able to run a very small tank, 16 gallons. I mean, we're talking about doing a full traditional wash on uh, my full size truck uh, with four gallons, maybe five gallons tops. I mean, I, even with the 112S, I'm, I'm still using 10 gallons of water to wash a vehicle. I mean, we're dramatically uh, decreasing the amount of lubrication that we need to do our jobs. That's amazing. Like I said, low power con consumption, low water consumption, plenty of pressure. This is gonna be amazing and commercial quality. So. Stay tuned, I'll have, I'll have more info. When I get the pressure washer in, the final, what we're going with, um, to do my own personal testing, then I'll shoot some videos on it, I'll talk about it a little bit more, uh, but I just want you guys to know, yes, I'm working with AR Blue North America to create the best case scenario for a blend of low pressure system air injection, and a full-blown pressure washer. It's gonna be amazing. If you guys got questions, 813-846-4406. Yeah, man, I'm excited, super excited. 
And I'm taking you guys on this rocket ship with me. If you are interested in hopping on and blazing this trail, uh, let's do it. And again, check out detailjuice.com. That is where this uh, particular situation will be when it's finalized. But I just want to thank you guys for watching these videos. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks again.